Good morning, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, and today we are solving Completely Unexpected Thermo by Philip Newman. This is a Thermo Sudoku. So we have normal Sudoku rules, meaning we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outline 3 by 3 region. And then we also have some thermometers in the grid, and along each thermometer, there's a round bulb and a non-round tip. And the digits going from the bulb to the tip have to increase. So for example, because this one ends in a five, but there's already a one in the column, this can only be a two or three, that can only be a three or a four in order to increase. And this process of pencil marking in all of the possible digits at each step by kind of increasing by one at each step is colloquially called goodliffing after Mark Goodliff. And we're gonna be doing a lot of goodliffing today. So that's gonna be a four because there's a three in the row. Similarly, because there's already a two in this column, this is one or three, this is three or four. Now, to uh, quickly good lift a thermo, there's a trick, which is you can count the length of the thermo, in this case it's six, and subtract that number from ten. That gives you four, and that is how many digits you're going to have to put in at each step. And sure enough, that brings us right up to nine. So this is one, two, three, or four, this is two, three, four, or five, and so on. That's the only way it's going to increase at every step. However, these this can't be a one because there's a one in the row, which means that can't be a two, or otherwise it would be smaller. That can't be a three, can't be a four, can't be a five, can't be a six, and so on. Also, this can't be a two, because there's a two in the region, so we can do the same kind of eliminations. And there's an eight in this column already, so that's going to be a nine. There's a seven in this column already, so that'll be a six. And we, in fact, have most of this thermo finished. All right, let's do the exact same thing here. And I know there are some eliminations that I could make a little bit more quickly than that, but it's best, at least if you're me, to be a little bit careful while you're doing this to make sure that you don't leave off any possibilities by accident. All right, I'm going to eliminate one and three here. Two, three, four, five, six from there. And then this can't be an eight. That can't be a 7, that can't be a 6, because there's a 6 in the row, there's a 4 there, that can't be a 4, and then therefore this can't be a 5 without being too small. So we've finished the end of our thermometer. And that can't be a 5, so that can't be a 4. And I think that's all we can do right now. Now let's go around and do this one. There's no 9 here, so we can decrease going down this way. Okay, that's not a six, so that's not a five, four, or three. So now we actually have this nice two, three pair, which makes this a six, seven pair to finish off the column. And if you look at that, that's a pretty big number, six, to be on the beginning of a thermo. That means this has to be seven or eight, that has to be eight or nine, but we have an eight in this row already, so that's a seven, and we have a nine in this row already, so that is an eight. And so this is going to be a 7. That's all taken care of. And so we can't place a 7 here because there is a, now a 7 in the region. There's a 5 in the column, so that's going to be a 6. All right, let's move around. Actually, that's a 1 because we have a 2 right there. Uh, let's move around and go ahead and do this thermo. And I missed out a 4 there. All right, that can't be a 9 because there is a 9 in the column. This can't be a 1 because there is a 1 in the row. And this can't be a 6 because there is a 6 in the row. And that takes care of this part of the thermo. The 4 is going to resolve this short thermo. And I think that's all we get out of that. If we look at this column, these are going to be from 6, 7, and 8. And again, this is pretty high to be on the bulb. It can't be an 8, that's too high. This is 6 or 7, that's 7 or 8, that is 8 or 9. This is now a 7-8 pair in region 2, so that makes this a 9. And we have a 7-8 pair in this row as well. We're just going to ignore that for now. Alright, so in this region we still need to place 2 somewhere. It has to go there because there's a 2 in column 2. That makes this an 8. And I need a 2, 3, and 4. 2, 3, and 9 here. So that's got to be a 2. That's a naked 2 because I have 3 and 9 there already. And there's a 6 in this region already, so that's going to be a 5 and a 2 here. The 3 I just placed makes this a 2. 
in this row, I still need an 8 and a 9. And in this row, I still need a 1 and a 5, which I can place immediately. Okay. What next? Um, in this column, I'm still going to need a 1, a 4, and a 5, and neither of these can be 5. They're both C5s, so that's definitely a 5. Oh, I have a 7 here. That makes this an 8, which makes this a 9, and an 8, which resolves this short thermo. And that's now resolved. And then I can finish off this column. How about right here? I still need a 3, 4, 6, and 7. Those can't be 7s, and that can't be a 3. That also can't be a 7, so I can place my 7. And here I need 3, 4, 5, and 6. That's not a 5, so I can place my 5. Finishing off this row with a 4 and a 3, like that. Here I need a 7 somewhere in this region. I'll go right there. And to finish this column, I need a 1 and a 6. Right here, I need a 4. And I can finish off with just some classic Sudoku, I believe. Okay. I think that's going to be just about it, if I'm not mistaken. There's a little bit of a longer gas, but I didn't find that to be particularly hard at any step. There was just a lot of pencil marking to kind of meticulously put in and then meticulously resolve. But as long as you're careful, you should be able to get yourself through that one. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Completely Unexpected Thermo by Philip Newman. Um, I have been Clover and I will see you again in three days. Have a lovely Thanksgiving for those of you in the US and I will see you soon.